vlog here and this uh, lesson is estimate and measure mass okay this is lesson 10 8 and our essential question is uh, how can we estimate and measure math in metric units okay so here we have a dollar bill George has a dollar bill in his pocket so should uh, George measure the mass of the dollar bill in grams or kilograms well a gram, you guys, um, and it's abbreviated with the letter G, is the basic metric unit for measuring mass, or the amount of matter that an object weighs, okay? Uh, but uh, mass can also be measured by using a, a metric unit, which is called kilograms, which is kg, okay? So, so should we measure it in grams or kilograms? All right, so... Uh, a small paper clip has the, uh, the mass of about the uh, one gram, okay? So, um, uh, you know, everybody has small paper clips either in their teacher's desk or maybe your student desk at school. If you have a thousand of them, a box of a thousand paper clips, that measures the mass of about one kilogram. Okay, so I uh, think uh, uh, that the mass of the dollar bill, what do you think it's closer to? The thousand um, uh, paper clips or one paper clip? Well, I think it's probably closer to a small paper clip than it is than to a thousand box of paper, paper clips. So since uh, the paper clip was one gram, then George should measure the mass of the dollar bill in grams. Okay, easy enough. So here's some items that weigh about a gram. Okay, well a small paper clip, we discussed that, weighs about a gram. Also a dollar bill weighs about a gram, we talked about that. Cotton balls. Cotton balls also weigh about one gram. So things that are really light, okay, a, a small business card weighs about a gram. Okay, maybe a dime. A dime also weighs about a gram. What do you think a nickel weighs, you guys? Is a nickel more or less than a dime? Well, a nickel's a little bit bigger than a dime. Nickel weighs about five grams, you guys. It's not quite a kilogram, okay? So items that weigh a kilogram, well, you know, the, the, the box of a thousand paper clips has the mass of about a kilogram, so it weighs about the, as much as a kilogram does. Well, if that doesn't help, how about a, a liter of water? One liter of water also weighs about a, uh, a kilogram. A pineapple, that probably weighs about a kilogram. A baseball bat weighs about a kilogram. Maybe five bananas also weigh about a kilogram right there. Okay, so how many grams are there in a kilogram? Well, if one paper clip is about one gram, and a thousand paper clips is about one kilogram, then that means that there's going to be a thousand grams in one kilogram, okay? So uh, choose the unit that we should use to measure the mass. And so why, write gram or kilogram. Okay, so here's several items right here. We have a blueberry, a dog, glasses, a watermelon. So the really light ones, we're going to measure them in grams, and the heavy ones we'll measure in uh, kilograms. Okay, so, so blueberries, well, that, that probably weighs about a gram right there. Okay, a dog, well, a dog is much bigger than several pineapples, so I would measure that a dog in kilograms. Okay, so they just want to know is it good, should it be better to measure in grams or kilograms? Well, a dog would be definitely kilograms. It would be, since there's a thousand grams in kilograms, then a dog would weigh several thousand uh, grams, but it's better to weigh it in kilograms right there. How about some glasses, you guys? Do you think glasses weigh as much as, say, a, a pineapple or a baseball bat? No, uh, I don't think so. So since it doesn't weigh as much as a, a gram, I'm sorry, a kilogram, which is a pineapple or, or five bananas, you guys, this is much lighter. I would weigh this in grams. It would be more than a gram. It would be several grams, but if it doesn't weigh quite a kilogram, then measure it in grams. How about a watermelon? Do you think a watermelon weighs about as much as a, a, a pineapple or five bananas? I would think so. So I would measure that in kilograms right there. All right, you guys, take care.